every day. We ask Wall Street's brightest minds to share the word they believe will describe the trading day ahead. Stephen Whiting, what is your WEX word of the day? Apprehension. Uh, it's this uh, lingering issue. It's the debt ceiling time again. We've been doing this for 100 years, and now they're leaving us in apprehension. So there's a, a good deal built into the uh, front end of the Treasury market. This is a partial uh, sense that there's a small chance of a shock. I think that that is uh, priced into the Fed Fund's futures market. And we're going to move markets one way or the other. Um, the most likely outcome is there will be a deal, as usual. Uh, but how far they go to the wire and what the compromises are, even possibly a significant fiscal tightening uh, to avoid default, uh, that will be uh, very important issues going forward. Yeah, it seems like we might face some turmoil if this takes longer to settle than June 1st. Um, and in the past, we've seen like a lot of just ripples in the economy due to this, you know, political wrangling. We're going to call it that for now. Um, when it comes to portfolio protection, you are looking at dividend paying stocks and dividend paying ETFs. So we're going to show some of the ETFs you're looking at. So why are dividends so important during this time? Well, look, it's the type of company that can uh, over earn its dividend, that can grow its dividend, that has balance sheet resources, that will make it through multiple cycles, that can get through a downturn. So those larger, healthier firms from balance sheet perspective, that is just playing defense. Now, it performed really well last year. It outperformed the market. We don't think it will perform well all the time. After apprehension will come relief. Uh, but uh, that's what we're doing, playing defense, trying to earn quality income, both in the bond market and in the stock market, during this time when the economy is constrained uh, and the Fed's, uh, quite frankly, trying to end this expansion. All right. As we mentioned, CPI is coming up later today. What are your expectations? How influential do you think this data report will be to the Fed's decision at its next meeting? Of course, we have other reports, a jobs report, another inflation report before that. You know, CPI data is really history. The thing that they've been looking at most, the CPI for services, which is linked to domestic wages, is an official member of the index of lagging economic indicators. It's been coming down. This month is not expected to show a lot of uh, progress coming down. The next few months, I think, will show uh, greater disinflation. And most importantly, 2024 is going to be the period where we're really going to see it. A money supply, broad money, is contracting for the first time since the late 1940s. Now, we could ignore that at times when it's in mild ranges. Uh, but after this uh, macro policy-driven boom and bust, uh, we're seeing the bust side of it. And I think that's going to mean much lower inflation in the coming year. And it does mean, again, that I think that the Federal Reserve will swerve. There's no good reason for the U.S. economy, having shown so little net progress since COVID started, uh, to have a, a, a serious downturn now. Wait, you're saying there's, there's no reason for the U.S. economy to have a serious downturn? There's no reason for policymakers trying to uh, essentially treat the effects of their past easing, right, to force the American economy down hard. That's a very interesting take there, Stephen. I um, also want to look ahead to PPI while we have you here just talking the broader economy. Um, another reading of inflation, this time for businesses and the cost that they have there. What do you expect in there? And is that also a meaningful input for the Fed? Because they said that the banking crisis was something they were looking, but they didn't make a decision based on that. It's uh, the fact that we've seen that we've seen some relief on the good side of the economy and that certain services prices are still moving up. Uh, there's still pent up demand. Uh, the PPI for final demand uh, in services is going to show some strength. Uh, but what we've seen in the good side of the economy is a leading indicator for services. Um, we have seen generally restrained production. We have high and falling inventories. We're luckily enough seeing a little bit of progress on that, but there's a lot further to go in inventories. So it wouldn't surprise me again, despite the fact that we're trying to rebalance supply and demand, it's going to come with some supply restraint uh, and some production okay. in the near All term. Right. Stephen White